Good day everyone, it's Sir Pasay Bonner yet again. Uh, we will be discussing the games for January 7 game day for your NBA. Uh, to begin with, we'll have this uh, East Conference uh, battle between Philadelphia 76ers and Brooklyn Nets. Philadelphia 76ers, as we all know, they're the number one overall in the East um, with seven wins and one loss. They're actually having a five-game winning streak. Man, that's so hot. Again, seven wins, one loss, five-game winning streak. Now, for uh, the Brooklyn Nets, they're actually uh, at number nine currently with four wins and four losses. Um, and they just uh, had a win last time out against Suta Jazz. Uh, that was a 20-plus point win. Um, they did that even without Kevin Durant, even without Spencer Dinwiddie. So that was such a huge win for the Brooklyn Nets as well. Okay, so uh, it's going to happen um, in Brooklyn Nets. I mean in Brooklyn. <laughs> Sorry about that. In Brooklyn and it's 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. So that's 8.30 a.m. Manila. Now, honestly, this one's hard. Because I know Philadelphia's uh, hard. Uh, Phil Philadelphia's hot right now with five of win winning streak with seven wins overall um, early on but um, they just had a game uh, they just you know they just ended a game um, and within less than 24 hours they would have another game um, and I guess for the past four days they've had three games already so uh, fatigue factor no matter who you are uh, can actually um, can actually hit you and that's why I'm kind of contemplating whether Philadelphia would still get this game. Because Brooklyn, uh, Brooklyn Nets, um, they're actually coming off a rest. Not only that, they're coming off a win against Utah Jazz, which could be a huge morale booster, confidence booster. Because again, they did that even without KD, even without Spencer Dinwiddie. Kyrie Irving was unstoppable on that game. Okay, so... Um, who is going to win? <laughs> Again, this one's really hard for me. Uh, let me just check on something here. Let me just check on uh, the injuries just to make sure. Because uh, I'm checking on the Brooklyn Nets. Um, aside from uh, Durant and uh, Dinwiddie that we mentioned earlier, that, uh, who would be out, uh, they also don't have Nicholas Claxton. Um, and Kuroks is listed as day-to-day -day, along with um, uh, Reggie Perry. Uh, both of them are actually listed as uh, questionable for this game. Now, for Philadelphia, hold on. For Philadelphia 76ers, it's the same people who, uh, who are out. Uh, Mike Scott and uh, Cork Mass. So, um, Philadelphia is healthier though in terms of these kind of injuries, you know, they were able to manage that well um, And again, it's hard because you saw you saw how scary Brooklyn Nets could be if if uh, Irving would actually um, score that well and um, Steve Dash showed that you know, he has some magic office, you know office uh, off his sleeves that you know he actually placed um, different starters on that game against um, Utah Jazz so uh, hmm, this one's hard really I know there's a possibility that uh, Kyra Irving might get another uh, ex explosion like that but um, I'm considering I'm considering the fact that Embiid along with the 76ers of course would want to keep that um, uh, winning streak and that number one spot for sure and if I were Philadelphia I would take advantage of the situation that KD is out Dinwiddie is out so let's take care of this Brooklyn Nets you know it's easier said than done though because of the uh, fatigue factor but I think at the end of the day um, they should be able to at least um, play around with their bench and all that make sure that Embiid would have enough uh, enough uh, minutes that way he uh, he would still be able uh, to show his effective Embiid or his effective self towards the end of the game um, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna put my money towards the number one uh, team in the East Conference I'm even willing to 
uh, I'm even willing to pick the minus on this. I mean, Brooklyn Nets, I know they've shown how a monster they could be, but they've also shown us lately that they could be um, an inconsistent team. They even lost to Charlotte Hornets with KD and Irving uh, both playing, you know? So I'm going to I'm going to put my Philadelphia I'm going to put my money on Philadelphia minus 2 because again so far Philadelphia has shown a lot of consistency and a lot of effectiveness. All right? Again, Philadelphia minus 2. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do and click on the subscribe button. Uh, also include the bell button that way you would be notified once a new video is uploaded. Um, also, please visit our Facebook site because um, we also have a Facebook page. It has the same name um, with uh, Passive Baller on it. Uh, just uh, follow it like that. Uh, that way you can actually um, send us a message or send us questions if you need one or if you need to rather. Okay, so just uh, hang in there. I'm going to be posting the other videos for the other games. Uh, enjoy the rest of the day. Peace out. Pass it up. Love you.